Hi, my name is Peter Tam. It's been six months since we relocated to California. As new residents, we have taken the opportunity to explore and take in the beauty of the city. When we feel bogged down by the busy nature of the city, solace can be found in a short drive away. On today's trip, I'll be taking y'all to Sonoma. Sonoma is located in Northern California and with Napa Valley right next door, this area is known as the premier winemaking capital. I called in advance and made reservations at Nicholson Ranch. Nicholson Ranch is a small winery that does their own growing, crushing, and bottling. The winery sits on top of a hill right at the footbed of rolling mountains. The location and the surrounding grounds are absolutely beautiful. There are several comfortable and scenic areas to sit and enjoy the wine. The patio we decided on is a marvelous step up that overlooks the entire vineyard. The wines were smooth and easy on the palate. We tasted a number of variations uh, from Chardonnays to Merlots. Our guide was very knowledgeable, answered our many questions while explaining the history of the video. tasting, we started to stick around town. We looked around and got this great recommendation from a Mexican restaurant that was only 15 minutes away. It's called El Molino Central, and they are a no-frills, unassuming restaurant that boasts of spectacular, authentic Mexican cuisine. And this was exactly what we were craving. We went on to Yelp to get a quick impression of what to expect, and here's what Yelp had to say. Jeff adds, they are 100% authentic and fantastic. George said that they make the best chicken mole and their tamales are really good. Molly said that she would give this place six stars if she could. Claudia knows that the food is so good that she wants to make this restaurant her weekly routine. Lily recommends that if you are in Sonoma to definitely stop by for their fish tacos. Your helpful comments made a believer out of me. We're going to do just that. Here we go. blend of flavors were amazing and mouthful. The tamale was stuffed with savory pork and a great tomatillo sauce and topped with crema. The black beans were perfectly flavored with just the right amount of texture. And to also point out their handmade guacamole and chips, the chips were made on the hunkier side to hold up against an immense heap of guacamole. Needless to say, this meal exceeded the highest of my expectations. I sure will be plotting our next trip back to check out their mole, which we didn't get to sample. And also, if you have a favorite restaurant out this way, add it in the comments below, and we'll be sure to check it out on our way back. Thanks for tuning into our adventure today. If you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button. There's more to come. I'm Peter Tam, signing off for now. And like always, be adventurous, be safe, and take care of one another.